Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, your boy Yellow Beezy has got to take it easy because at the end of the day, he got some strong allegations um, against him this time, man. He's been in all of the headlines, and as of lately, it's like it's all for the wrong reasons. And this time, it seemed to be a little more serious, man. Now, your boy Yellow Beezy done got himself in a situation to where he's being accused of sexually assaulting a woman that he met via Instagram. Now, you know, headlines is crazy, of course. TMZ, they're going to take it and use clickbait and they're going to just outright say that he raped a woman i can't i can't just come out of my face and say that somebody raped someone over allegations those are very 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 hard words um that's a bad jacket to put on somebody and they gotta live with that forever it's no different than accusing someone of being a, a sexual predator or like a, a molester or these are harsh harsh labels to put on somebody so um as I read this TMZ headline and it says Yellow Beezy allegedly raped women on first date, that's that's a little too harsh for me, man. But that's what's floating around. And this is what this man's gonna have to defend himself against in the near future. So we're gonna get into all that. We're gonna talk about our opinions on this. He has a few other charges that has been tacked onto this as well. So we're gonna get into all that, man. But before we do, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear, it's lit here. So join one of the latest gangs on YouTube so we can stay updated on some of the realest content. Now, let's get straight into it. Now, it's November 16, 2021. And um, it's crazy, man. Like I said, Yellow Beezy, he has definitely been in the headlines recently, but it seems like all for the wrong things every time you turn around whether it's a weapon charge whether it's uh some type of women or just all the negative things so we're gonna get into this tmz article that they got out i'm gonna speak on it i'm gonna give you my opinion and i also want to know you guys opinion as well so let's get straight into it man now it says here the headline exclusive yellow beezy allegedly raped woman on first date per law enforcement now it says here Yellow Beezy allegedly forced himself on a woman during a first date and even after she told him to stop proceeded to rape her. This according to what cops in Texas say the woman told officers. Now TMZ has obtained an arrest warrant and probable cause affidavit from Yellow's sexual uh, assault case out of Collin County and the story is pretty straightforward. According to the docs, an uh, unidentified woman came to the ER to report an alleged rape in April. So I guess this happened in April. I don't know why. I don't know. All of it is coming out now. Anyway, it says, per the docs, the woman says Yella contacted her on Instagram in late April. And see, y'all got to stay off of Instagram. Stop thinking that the, the, the easy little stragglers stop because this is what happens. <laughs> anyway, it says, as uh, per the docs, the woman says Yella contacted her on Instagram in late April, asking if she was looking for a new friend. Sounds weird. After some back and forth, she says he asked her out, and they eventually made plans to grab a bite in Dallas and for some bowling afterwards. The alleged victim told police everything was going smoothly. That is, until she says he invited her back to his apartment while they waited for their bowling reservations at 10 p.m., a two-hour window after they had wrapped dinner. She agreed, and they went back to his pad. Once there, the woman claims they played cards and talked until she says Yella asked for a massage while he was shirtless, which she says she gave him. Once she finished, she says she sat down next to him, and that's when she claims he pounced on her. The woman claims Yella started forcibly kissing her and pulling up her dress. She claims despite her saying no repeatedly, Yella inserted his penis into her vagina. See, see, in the end, like I said, man, y'all guys got to watch who y'all go after, who y'all think is right on Instagram just because y'all see they got a nice body or whatever the case may be. I don't know if these allegations are true, however stop just pulling women from social media you don't know this woman from a can of paint now i know it sounds cliche like oh who could what you talking about oh like, i'm a, if she would it and she bad i'm gonna do this cool but when things like this happen guess what 
you got to suffer the consequences. Now it says here, eventually the woman says she was able to break free and make a run for it. She claims Yella essentially tried to gaslight her into making her think she initiated the sex by kissing them. The next day, <clears throat> excuse me, the next day she went to the hospital, which is when the authorities got involved. Now it says, as we reported, Yella was booked on not just the sexual assault charge, but others too, including felony, abandoned, endangered child, and misdemeanor unlawful carrying a weapon. I don't know how that one came about. I don't know. But it says unclear how those charges came about, but the affidavit obviously sheds light on the sexual assault charge. We reached out to Yellow Beezy's team. Yellow Beezy's team. So far, no word back. So, uh, to break it all down, he met this girl on Instagram. They agreed to go get something to eat after they agreed to get something to eat. Uh, they went back to his house to wait for their bowling reservations. I guess they started playing cards. Everything was going good. The next thing you know, kissing led to another. He got on her, tried to forcibly, you know, do certain things in which he accomplished. And she went to a hospital the day after. Now, my thing is this. What made her go to the hospital a day after? You see what I'm saying? Like, if this was really, you know, something that was against your will wouldn't you want to go to the hospital right after it happened wouldn't you want to sit there and, and file a police report right then and there like as soon as you leave or escape you file a police report right then and there I don't know man and I'm not saying she's lying because you never know with these artists just because they they celebs or whatever you want to label them that don't mean that these people aren't you know these monsters that we may not know about you see, you see what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to cover all ground. I don't know. Um, I hope these allegations aren't true, but this is something he's going to have to fight to defend. And it's going to be hard because, you know, he actually went inside her. So pretty much it's his word against hers. I'm sure they're probably going to end up settling out of court for some money. Who knows? But fellas, let this be a lesson, man. And um, ladies, too, stop just meeting up with these guys. I don't care who they are, if they're a celeb, I don't care who they are, I don't care what they got, no matter what, you never know who these people can be behind closed doors. You know, going back to a stranger house, anything. And you know, in some cases, it become deadly because you could refuse to have sex with an individual and he gets so mad that he beat you. You know, um, you, you see them TV shows, where the guy get crazy, he either want to beat her, kill her, however it goes, man. We got to watch who we surround ourselves with, um, watch who you going out on dates with, watch who you go back to their house. And I don't know how, I don't know. I just don't know how this is going to play out, man. Because like I said, um, she went back to his house um, and somewhere it says that he tried to gaslight her because she was kissing back. But then another part, it says that he forcibly kissed her. I don't know. I don't know, man. Like I said, it, it is what it is, but this is what came out. Um, I don't know where the kid endangerment came from, but that's another charge. And, the and, and another weapon charge he has against him. So he got something on his hands. God bless him. God bless the female if these allegations are true. One thing I, I can say, a lot of these women, they be looking for a payout. Um, and this is what I'm thinking. Maybe... Um, she tried to sit there and tell him like, yo, if you don't give me, give me this amount of money, I'm gonna go to the cops. And he probably didn't care and told her to go. Maybe that's why she went to the police the next day. I mean, she went to the hospital the next day. Who knows? At the end of the day, man, watch who you around, watch who you keep, watch who you date, watch who you go, whoever house you go over. More of the story. So y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, man. How y'all think it's going to turn out. And that's pretty much it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as y'all keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.